judged him. Chapter 28 says, Saul, you're dead because of your sins. Christians often postpone judgment until the final day and the end of time. We don't like to think about judgment happening to us as we go through life. In fact, as we all know, you can't get into heaven without wearing a suit. Uh, I was looking at that picture too going, that guy has a suit on. Um, you know, you can't get into heaven. God will judge all the rest of us for not wearing a suit. Paul, I think you're the only one with a suit on. You get to go. <laughs> today. No, not today. Not today. Okay. We have to know that God judges us throughout our lives. We all suffer from the consequences of our sins that we commit. We do this. My worst days as a parent are when my kids are doing something that I don't approve of and I realize that it is because of my sin. And they're just imitating me. All the good things they do, that's the best part. Uh, but all the bad things, I realize is because I have sinned. And if I had been a better dad, if I had been more loving, if I had been more faithful, if I had been all those things that I knew I should be, you know, I wouldn't have had those days. I've got good kids. But we suffer in this life because of the sins that we commit. On the other hand, God offers us, through the good news of Jesus Christ, through the, through the word of God that we have, he offers us hope and grace he can take away a lot of those consequences. He doesn't take away all of them. He offers us forgiveness from sins. He offers us help for the journey. He offers us help in our day-to-day -day lives. And he helps us overcome those situations so that we can continue on. David committed horrible sins. He had to suffer some of the consequences for those. But on the other hand, he was a man after God's own heart, and he loved God and God blessed him. Saul, the kingdom was taken away from him. David, the kingdom was given to him. The gospel offers us hope and peace in this life. He offers us direction. He offers us counsel. He offers us a way out in a lot of situations where we cannot see a way out. By rightly relating to God here and now, we prepare for loving him eternally in the hereafter. We need to love God now so that he will love us then. We need to, to obey God now so that we can walk right into heaven without any problem. We need to clean up our act now so that we will have, be prepared for eternity. The way we die is related to the way we live. Saul died afraid, alone, having to kill himself to avoid further harm. David died peacefully, an old man, blessed by God, his kingdom continuing on until Jesus Christ came. If we live rightly now, we can prepare for the way that we die. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you would help us to live now the way you have called us to live, the way you have asked us to live. Lord, we pray that you would help us to see your working when we always see are the rocks on either side of us, pressing in and no way out. Lord, we pray that we'll be able to trust in those situations because we know that, poof, you can make all things good overnight. In the meantime, Lord, we pray that you would be creating faith in us, that you would be creating love in us, so that we would be prepared for the next life by being prepared in this life. Thank you, Father, for loving us and forgiving all of our sins and taking away a lot of the consequences of our behavior. Lord, we thank you for that. We rely upon that. Lord, we pray that you'd also help us change. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.